Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on the quadratic formula using stored memory values. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos or follow at Guide Calculator on Twitter. In this video we're going to look at how to use values stored in the memory when we're trying to solve using the quadratic formula. Here's a quick reminder of the quadratic formula and don't forget if we're solving we want ax squared plus bx plus c to equal zero. As the calculator's memory function uses capital letters, we have to think of the quadratic formula in this way. And ax squared plus bx plus c will become a capitalised version when we're using the memory functions. In example 1 we need to solve 2x squared plus 5x minus 9 equals 0, giving our answers to four decimal places. First, let's match our equation to the general equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Our a equals 2 b equals 5 and our c is negative 9 so be careful to include the minus sign with this. The value for a is 2 so we need to press 2 and then press shift and store and then we just need to press the button for a there's no need to press alpha first it should automatically come up with the letter a. Our value for b is 5 so press 5 shift and store and then b and our value for C is negative 9. We need to be careful with this, what button we use. I would suggest using the negative in brackets here to input the value of negative 9. Shift and store and place that in letter C. Now we're going to have two solutions to this equation. Now we're going to carefully input the formula. We're going to start by pressing the fraction button first and then input the top line but we'll use the plus value remember it's plus or minus when we're using the quadratic formula we can only do one at a time on the calculator so we'll use the plus first be careful to input this correctly using the alpha function before each letter once you've completed the top row use your replay button to navigate down to the bottom to input 2a. Press equals and here's your answer. The first solution given is an exact answer which in some circumstances you may want. We want to add decimal answer so we need to press SD for the decimal equivalent. And here is our answer 1.2122 to four decimal places. We're going to find our second solution now. So navigate back so that the cursor on the calculator is just after the plus sign. Press delete and then replace that with a minus one. We're okay to use the minus from the four functions in this particular case. Press equals and we have our exact answer. It is the negative version of our first solution. We want a decimal version, so we'll press SD, and here we have our answer, minus 3.7122 to four decimal places. Okay, here we have example two. We've got another quadratic equation to solve. Why not pause the video and have a go yourself? and I will return in a few seconds to go through the solutions. In this example, the value for a is five, b equals 13 square root two, and c equals negative four square root two. So just be careful to input this correctly. Don't forget to use the minus in brackets to input any negative values. Press the fraction button first before we input the formula. Don't forget it's going to be capital letters and we want to use the plus sign first for the first of our two solutions. Careful to input this correctly and don't forget to navigate to the bottom of the fraction with the replay button to insert the 2a. Just check that that is correct here we have our first solution, 0.2855 to four decimal places. Navigate back to delete the plus and change that to a minus. 
and here we have our second solution minus 3.9625 don't forget to round that to four decimal places if you would like to know more about how this calculator can help you to complete the square then click on the link below or additionally you can follow a guide calculator on twitter or subscribe for future videos that's it from this video thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time on the calculator guide